most high school coaches are excited to start practice for the new year. Except maybe Georgia soccer coaches. First day of drills, January 3rd. That date happened to be very cold and raw. I believe that week it was in the mid-20s the entire time of tryouts, and we were just struggling, doing the best we could do, but you know what I mean? Most of it was just surviving. <laughs> Dalton has somehow already played four matches, including one in the snow. It was against Atlanta International yeah. School. We put it here on, on Friday two weeks ago, and it just snowed. You know, you look up in the lights, and it looked like a blizzard coming down. It was pretty heavy for a while, and it dusted the field a little bit. How do you beat the cold? Mm, I, just, I just keep running and just get warm from the heat that I produce. The phrase bench warmer is kind of false for soccer players this time of year. You have to consider very strongly putting the subs in because the boys are sitting in very thin shorts or warm up pants on a metal bench in that weather and that's making their muscles pretty cold so you have to give them a pretty good warning before you sub them in. Tennessee high schools don't start playing games until mid-March. We're playing a couple of teams in Tennessee this year, and they say, well, yeah, we'll just wait till March 14th. And we're like, well, that's the end of our region there. I was like, what's going on? I would personally like to see it start a little bit later and maybe compact the playoffs a little bit closer together. The playoffs last five weeks, and you, and you finish the regular season, you have a week off, and the next round, you have a week off. Soccer in January and February is weird, but maybe not everywhere in Georgia. And also conditions in South Georgia are quite different than North Georgia. I mean, if you're, if you're down there in Statesboro and Thomaston, I mean, you got, you know, almost Florida weather.